second highlight is uh, about the cluster. Um, so we see the other four much stronger balances if the journalists can consolidate the cluster than any which we are next year. Uh, so in uh, October, the, com the company already announced that this is set when they break the split in the cluster down from 25% to 46%. And uh, currently, they have a body more sense to increase the split to 51%. We don't know whether they are successful or not because uh, they still have one body. Yeah, to finish their target. Um, so, because they are had um, you know, still on the year uh, compared to Chile uh, at one time, so if they can consolidate, then the balance will be extremely uh, stronger. And um, then, one more thing to highlight is that the purpose of the public equity reason, um, according to one member of the UK, uh, it uh, is to finance the green energy risk as well as um, increase. Uh, as well as the point of the third eight percent stuck in the class of that. So after all the target eighty percent stuck in the class of that. And if the uh this intention is successful, then it will have to bring total uh asset of channels to grab two billion USD and a broad preparation market cap of channels could increase to nearly one billion USD. Um and uh, uh, um, um, talking about the cluster diamond, we saw it very solid. Um, uh, and uh, um, uh, furthermore, they, despite the, the differences and negative impact of COVID 19, uh, the company is still able to boost the um, land bank uh, preparation and uh, <coughs> structure construction. But the cap has increased to uh, 3% year to So, therefore, uh, we think that um, they have good, uh, very good preparation uh, to capture strong leasing demand post COVID 19. Uh, this is a very long five minutes, it's, it's great, but it's, we're running out of time. Could you maybe just wrap up in the next 30 seconds? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, for 20 uh, uh, hours, they have um, uh, a power in the energy impact of uh, COVID 19, so it implies about 2%. In terms of the profit, it's still increased 70% because they have investment, they uh, have very strong investing in the logistic business. So we expect that in uh, 2021, um, the company will have uh, impressive economic growth across from, from, uh, uh, from uh, uh, all of the sectors. So that concludes my uh, presentation. Has this growth concluded my presentation? Um, we have time because of 25,000. Uh, to uh, watch this. Yes, there will be next year and next this year because uh, of the rising in the new solution. So, do you think we will see? They can think this year, but they will do the evaluation next year. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, I'll send the evaluation. So, yes. <laughs> Um, so you're saying we're going to a bit of a PP power, um, so we downgrade PP power from five to number four. Um, so, so uh, our our best thesis for uh, for PP power remains the same. We continue to see a very robust uh, growth in terms of electricity uh, demands uh, for Vietnam um, in the next five years, um, and uh, we continue to see value in. Um, um, in PV power, very sizable portfolio of, um, of power generation asset. So, how do we think that the uh, depending of uh, of kind of PPI review uh, is valuing the uh, the growth story um, of uh, of PV power? Um, so, so the kind of top plan, uh, which prior to uh, to twenty to twenty nineteen was. Uh, was PV power main profit driver? Are uh, um, now seeing a, a worsening outlook because of um, of several dispute with EGN uh, with the uh, with EGN has arrived um, and enrolled is the um, uh, is earnings per per year. Um, so there's two examples to to dispose. Uh, the first one is the uh, uh, the FX dispose that uh, that occurs in. Uh, in in February 2018, um, and the gas price told that just uh, just occurred in Q3 2020 this year. Um, so 
Um, so, 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 so now forecast we uh, we model in a, a scenario where uh, the capital plan will finalize uh, its PPI review and um, um, start to join the competitive generation market um, in the in, in the beginning of next year um, and recorded a a sizable year on year earning decline because of um, because uh, because a um, a switch to a more more competitive pricing mechanism compared to the current pricing mechanism is very favor favorable for Camel. So they get rid of PPA for Camel. Um, so they still have PPA, but, but the mechanism is uh, um, is now more in line with the other power plan, the attitude PPC. Um, compared to before where they they receive fixed monthly revenue that is uh, uh, that is uh, that is different from from um, from the uh, the volume generations. So so the revenue and profit uh, is not correlated with actual uh, production. Just from the gamble plan. Yeah, so across uh, all the power generators. So that that is a uh, a special mechanism for gamma only. So, um, so we expect next year to remove mm -hmm. that and force gamma to join with everything else. But it hasn't been finalized, right? No, it's had not been finalized. Yet. Uh, so specifically for this report, we cut our target price by five percent um, to to eleven thousand four hundred dollars per share, um, which would lie at our form rating. Uh, our target price cut is mainly driven by lower earnings. Um, which is offset by the effect of going over our, our target price. Um, in terms of uh, in terms of medium term growth, we forecast a uh, an eleven percent KR um, for for earnings between the period of twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty five, um, and that is mainly thanks to the contribution of um, of two new power plants, the Ninja uh, Three and Ninja Four, which is. Uh, um, which is supposed to come online in 2023 and 2024, respectively. Um, um, and, and we also uh, removed our, our forecast for cash dividends um, for, for the financial year of 2020 going forward because, uh, because we believe that the um, uh, power we need to reserve is cash balance. Um, to invest in these two new um, <coughs> new power plants. Um, so that that should come to the camel plants a really good profit for one. Yeah. Um, or something because because of this plot they have been delaying the PPI review for for power for two years already. So yeah. Um, so I think that the story is that. Um, so the story is that there's a um, there's an order from uh, from the international assembly saying that uh, there's no there should be no um, no contract between two Vietnamese entity that is uh, that is set the price in USD. So that uh, that is the main basis for EVA to say that you know the uh, the PDA contract signed with Tamil back in 2017 is not not effective anymore. So um, so starting from 2018, they start to tinker with uh, the the assumption or the, the previously uh, used assumption in 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 those contracts, um, and and that is the main reason why that uh, peak power, especially the camel plan, need to renegotiate new contract with um, with the the uh, EDA. So it's in house. Best interest to be like this as much as possible. Um, I think I think um, I think EPN realized this and they um, like they they put up several um, several hurdles for um, for for PV power to to keep delaying this this uh, negotiations. So if they're not delaying them, um, the back then balance will grow. We go family and uh, and there uh, so they have uh, they also the uh, gas price dispute, which means that um, for every unit of power produced, they will incur a loss. Right. 
So, to pick up uh, now, so EPN put out a lot of things for PV Power to, to uh, finalize the CPM review. Thanks.
Our master is also making a foray um, into the air for protein space uh, with fresh pork, and uh, they just added a ch uh, chicken um, after acquiring uh, three egg yolk. So uh, we think that there is extensive uh, real happening uh, in these uh, fresh meat segments uh, because these are uh, quite fragmented sectors in Vietnam. Uh, the acquisition of ECM uh, in the uh, end of 2019 uh, also expands uh, significantly the uh, Masa consumer franchise um, and the potential beautiful synergies uh, between ECM um, as well as MCH and ML uh, in terms of product distribution uh, as well as private labels uh, for ECM. So, um, in this other report, um, we target our rating from bad to our form, uh, mainly because of the 52% uh, share price rise over the last three months. Um, that said, uh, we increased our target price by more than 30%, uh, mainly because of um, our performance uh, in matter consumer treatment segments uh, compared to our previous fall forecast. And we also uh, looked over our target price to the year 2021. Um, the potential upside events going forward um, is capital rate, rate raising, uh, either a group or subsidiaries uh, that could have to validate the valuations of these subsidiaries um, as well as have mass time to break, uh, break our debt. So, one of the uh, potential deals is uh, finance. Uh, so, in terms of uh, our forecast, uh, for 2020, if you look at uh, this public breakdown, uh, the key driver is the uh, F&B segment, um, where the uh, convenient food uh, sub-segment has benefited from uh, COVID-19. Uh, this year, uh, we're supposed to be uh, making a big loss. Uh, that said, we um, raised our forecast, um, mainly because it's a uh, lot of margin is dropping ahead of our expectation. And we also incorporate uh, the effect from the closure of uh, other performance stores so far uh, in 2020. Uh, that said, uh, because of the loss making from this year, uh, as well as increasing uh, financial expenses uh, due to uh, debt uh, that was used to finance the acquisition of this year, uh, we expect that recurring profit for 2020 will be uh, very, very tiny, that's only uh, 14 billion dollars. Uh, we expect that uh, a big bounce back in earnings next year. Um, so in terms of uh, profit by segment uh, for MCH, uh, we expect it to uh, record a double digit growth rate. Uh, that said, the growth rate is um, slowed down compared to 2020 because we expect a normalization of growth uh, within the uh, uh, convenience food subsegment. So we, this year, uh, we are expecting to see um, a, a big savings in terms of loss, um, mainly because of the, the fact that uh, 2021 will see a full year effect um, on corporate savings from the closed down stores, and we we'll also expect uh, further more for demand expansion uh, to negotiate with the suppliers. So, uh, those will be the, the most important segments going forward. So, with, with that, we focus, we forecast a recurring uh, profit of 1.5 trillion uh, for next year, compared to just uh, 40 million in 2020. Thanks, Pat. But we're out of time. I'm, I'm very sorry. We're going to have to postpone from aviation to tomorrow. Could we just have one minute on macro, please? We've had quite a lot of data just over the last couple of days. Uh, yes, uh, I have some uh, news on uh, trade inflation and uh, uh, PMI. So, for Vietnam, the export and import in the first 11 months uh, improved uh, respectively 5.3% and 1.5%. Uh, um, looking to a uh, huge stretch of uh, more than 20 billion USD. Um, the um, export and import growth is uh, uh, really probably in line with our forecast of uh, export of uh, 5.3% and 1.3% uh, um, um, for full year. Um, for inflation, the, uh, for inflation uh, in uh, the November uh, CPI is directly uh, 0 0.01% over month over month and uh, rose 1.5% in year. Um, the 
uh, rising demand from China, Bangladesh, and Asian countries has put the price to price. Um, and um, uh, several other food stuff, uh, such as vegetable and uh, seafood, also uh, in stuff uh, due to flood and storm in the central of Vietnam. Um, However, uh, the petroleum price dropped uh, 1.2% one month over month, uh, had to, to cover the overall CBI. The average CBI in the, in the first 11 months grew uh, uh, 3.5% in a year, uh, slightly lower than our full year forecast of 3.7% as well as uh, the government target of below 4%. Uh, for the manufacturing, um, uh, Vietnam BI in uh, November uh, as down um, to uh, below the neutral level of uh, 50 to uh, 49.9 in November from uh, 51.8 in October uh, due to uh, succession of storm and flood in the central region of the country. Um, however, business confidence uh, continues to improve uh, to the High is level in uh, 16 months, uh, thanks to uh, the expectation that uh, COVID 19 will remain under control in Vietnam and uh, become less disruptive globally. Thank you. Thank you.